Hello and welcome. So I don't know if any of you guys remember that um, I started these th uh, three gallon totes, one with two mature European night crawlers, and the second one with 10 cocoons, European night crawler cocoons. Now I just wanted to let this, uh, the bins go and see uh, what kind of population just two worms will give me and what kind of population the 10 cocoons would give me. So this has been going on about a little less than six months. And to tell you honestly, I would not recommend you start your bin off with two worms. <laughs> So the interesting thing is, is that the parents, they have not lost their size. Look at this, look at this guy. So this is one of the parents. Just look at this gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful. Now these are the offspring. You can see the clitellum is already there, so it's a mature worm. But the size of this worm is less, much less than the size of the parent. Even though we have like almost no worms here at all. This is the second, um, the second mature, the adult that I put in here. And so they did give me some babies but you can see how much of a difference you have in the offspring. So that is really interesting. I find that, here's another um, offspring. I find that that's the case with uh, the majority of the worms, whether they be European night crawlers, African uh, night crawlers, even um, blues and red wigglers. The offspring is much smaller than the parents when kept in bins. Now, in my outdoor system where I have a four by nine uh, raised garden bed, all the worms get big and they basically get to their full, I, I would guess, full size. So I'm, what I'm going to do here <laughs> I just wanted to see um, how many worms these guys would give me in about six months. And you can see they, they've given me a few, but really nothing, nothing to write home about. So what I'm going to do with these guys, I'm going to take the adults and I'm gonna put them in my adult bin. And uh, then I'm gonna take the little children and I'm gonna put them in my European night crawler bin where I have the rest of my European night crawlers. So yeah, just wanted for you guys to see not a whole lot. I would I would say that there are about about ten worms. Just look at these guys. Look how gorgeous and large they are. So I'm gonna do that of course off camera. And now let's see what the cocoons gave me. And I didn't count them. I did not count them. But I know that there were 10, 10 cocoons. And actually, these guys have started to reproduce because you know, it has been like six, six months. You can see all of these guys are the original, the, the worms, the original worms from the cocoons, and then these guys are already their offspring. So, from what I counted, the um, original 10 cocoons gave me five worms. So only half of them actually hatched or, or viable. And the rest of what happened here is already 
these guys maturing, reproducing, and giving me their offspring. You can see, right? You can see the difference in the babies. So these guys are also going to go back into the European nightcrawler bin. But isn't that interesting? Just thought that you guys would like to to see this. And yeah, well, I recommend you start off with a lot more than two, two mature worms. That's our update for this little experiment.